Hello groupies, welcome back to Forma Therapy. This is The Culture Study. I'm the channel's video producer, you can call me PD. And the Culture Study is where we check out music videos coming out of the K-pop realm. I myself am an aspiring filmmaker, video producer. I've worked on a couple other YouTube channels. I've produced videos for other YouTubers and I've worked on a few short films, productions, and worked on some music video sets as well. And I'm also a Korean American and I've been following Korean music my entire life. And so The Culture Study is where I use both my experience professionally and personally to provide insight into two videos from K-pop industry. And so today we are checking out Jackpot by Elris. I have never seen anything from Elris. Sorry, they have not been on my radar. I just happen to miss their videos. I know I have seen Hurry Up by Soyi, which was the single off of one of their members, Soyi. And I just recently watched a One the K video. I think it's a performance of their B-side called This Is Me or something like that. It was a suggestion or a request from one of our patrons. Also, by the way, speaking of patrons, if you want to support us monetarily, we react to live stages, variety shows, exclusive content over on Patreon. You know, the culture study, we keep that here on YouTube. But if you want to see the fun stuff, that is over on Patreon. So go to patreon.com slash therapy For as little as $2 a month, you get early access to videos like this. And you get more at live stage, variety stages for different tiers. Let's get into it. This is Jackpot by Elris, and this is your form of therapy. Jackpot! I just won. Oh, I love that little like Yeah, I love the hook in the background It's very bouncy Makes the song feel very active Like very alive Yeah, it's just like kind of sitting in the background Okay, we're definitely watching this again I already really, really dig this and I talked over that girl's rapping, and I'm so sorry. I really like the tail end of it, and I want to hear it again. Oh, what a weird turn for the chorus. Oh. Is this what Elris is like? Oh, interesting. You know, with the aesthetic of this tea party right here, that kind of like bouncy synth in the background kind of gives this a little bit of a quirky vibe now. Ooh. They kind of like tweaked it where that, that, that synth sounds a little bit like more shallow. I can't do this. I can't. Dude, I can't get into another girl group. Oh my god, no. Oh no! Oh, I love this! No! Holy fuck, this chorus is so good. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my 
God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. No. No, I really did not need a girl group to like this much again. Wow. Wow, that was really, really good. Holy crap. Oh my god. Oh. Alright. Here's the thing. I love girl group songs. And I love songs that are cute, but aren't basic. I, I like complexity to music. And I really like cute girl group music, but they tend to be, or they used to be, the most simplest form of pop music. You know, just sugary bubblegum pop. And I, and I loved it. But very recently, these girl groups have been stepping it up in terms of their sugary bubblegum pop material. Kongun Sonya, Vromis 9, plethora of girl groups just putting out sugary bubblegum pop songs that are also really musically interesting. And Jackpot. Oh my god, Jackpot. We're going to watch this again because I want to hear it again. But this song is a 10 out of 10 for me. I'm not joking. See, given the aesthetic of like the black and the red and the set dressing and like the color in their hair, and again, this bouncy synth in the background, this give this, I don't know, it, it doesn't necessarily seem like girl crush, but this does seem like it's gonna be like a very brass heavy, uh, very sassy, very hard girl power type song. Oh my god. A girl group song with the dope ass rap section will always sell me. That was dope. Wow, this course is so unexpected. So like, compared to... Compared to the rest of like, the, the verse, the opening, with like this bouncy synth, with their shouting, with their rapping, again, it gives off a pretty intense, very um, confident uh, female empowerment um, girl group song vibe. But that chorus is actually like, really, really bright, vibrant, and... At its core, it's very cute, and it's very heartfelt and earnest, and there's a sweetness to the chorus that is extremely unexpected. Hold on. This rap break. Wow. Wow. When her voice like goes up at the end, like that that little elevated hook, oh, that is what makes this chorus fucking special. This set it from the music video is also very interesting because it's very minimalistic and very bare which is a nice little break from the rest of the music video which is actually like very loud, very strong primary colors uh, the set decoration is like very heavy, it's like a well-dressed set but then this one's simple, empty, and minimalistic with like a much more um, simple palette color Dude, Soy's vocals, holy shit! Yo, holy shit. I have to be honest, that might be one of my favorite girl group 
sugary pop releases in a hot minute. You know, I said in my Patreon reaction for their dance video, This Is Me, I said, hey, if this title track winds up being good, if I like it, I might consider checking out their previous stuff. I will most definitely check out their previous stuff. What in... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Gosh, this is like, this is exactly the type of girl group music I like. Oh my gosh. That chorus, Toy's vocals driving that chorus is one of the most fantastic things. That little hook, the na 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 na, that just, the weight like slightly elevates up. It's like for a song with such a very, very, I would say upbeat um, synth, like for a song driven by that bouncy synth, which is so misleading, that chorus is unexpectedly so sweet. And the way Tohi sings, there is such an earnesty and heart to the way she sings that it's just totally, it adds uh, a loveliness to a song that is otherwise a little bit more, not edgy, it's not girl crush, but it's definitely not, I would say a sugary bubblegum like concept, at least in the verses. So overall, blown away. Blown away by Jackpot. So, so good. Oh my God. I am not familiar with Elris at all. I only know Soi. First of all, who's that girl that does the second rap verse with the black hair that kind of curls up at the end? She's got a little color, like it looked like it was orange. Who is she? She's really, really pretty. And second, I got to check out other Elris stuff. I know, I've been missing out. Guys, please suggest to me the other Elris title tracks. I'll check. I'll check them all out. We'll do like a massive reaction for them. Well, if I like those, then we're checking out B-sides for sure. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. What did you guys think of Elris's jackpot? Let me know in the comments down below. Did you enjoy it as much as I did? Are you new to Elris or are you a longtime Elris fan? If you are, please let us know what we should check out next in the comments. Also, if you would like to support us, if you want to check out that Elris video I was talking about that I checked out on Patreon, or if you want me to check out other Elris content, visit our Patreon at patreon.com slash formatherapy. For as little as $2 a month, you get early access to reactions just like this but also at higher level tiers we also have live stage reactions variety show reactions and i might be checking up some live stages for elris's jackpot because this was really really good but you know what if you can't support us monetarily that's completely fine if you want to just support us for free go ahead and hit like down below right over here if you hit like down below if you leave a comment it actually helps us out with youtube search algorithm and we would greatly appreciate that also if you're new go ahead and click subscribe over there be notified when we upload a new video go ahead and hit that notification bell and go ahead and watch all our other videos over here and we will see you guys later bye